So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I wanted to talk about today includes the next major firmware update for the PlayStation 5 that's live today. We're going to go over that and VRR, of course. Ghostbusters PlayStation 5 that was rumored a while ago, but now has been formally and officially confirmed by the studio. And Sony adds another studio to their lineup, bringing up this organic buyout controversy and... <laughs> I have some comments on that, so we'll talk about that as well. First, tell me a feature you want for the PlayStation 5 outside of VRR. This will probably open up the floodgates, <laughs> but the more we talk about what we want, the more Sony can hear it, obviously. From earlier comments, I know 1440p is clearly high up there, along with folder support and themes. Is the feature you want one of these, or is it something else? So comment below, what feature do you want for the PlayStation 5 the most outside of VRR? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, Ghostbusters PlayStation 5. So last year, we heard rumors of a new Ghostbusters game in the works, and then it was semi-announced by one of the co-founders of the development studio that they were working on a Ghostbusters game. Most people, including myself, forgot about it, until it was formally announced just recently. Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, developer Ilphonic announced they were working on a Ghostbusters game five months ago, and now they've announced exactly what the game will be. Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed is a 4v1 asymmetrical multiplayer game for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, and it will be arriving later this year. Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed will be released in Q4 2022 for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and Xbox Epic Game Store. So, sometime between October 1st and December 31st, the 4v1 asymmetrical multiplayer game will pit four Ghostbusters against a single ghost in a gameplay akin to Ilphonic's previous titles like Friday the 13th, uh, The Game, and Predator Hunting Grounds. Regardless of platform, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed players will be able to take on the ghost with their friends thanks to cross-platform play. There will be there will even be AI, AI bots to fill empty spots, making it entirely possible for players to take on to take part in solo matches offline so right off the bat i know people have opinions on the predator and friday the 13th games but for me i really enjoyed ilphonic's other game arcade again so i have faith something solid is going to come out of this another thing that i've come to realize is that ghostbusters the franchise is owned by sony <laughs> i know that columbia pictures which is also owned by sony was the production house behind the movies but never really acknowledged the owner of the franchise is Sony. But that's really it. In terms of a more narrowed release date, I think we can all guess this is probably dropping in October in time for Halloween. Now diving into the second story of the video, the next major update for the PlayStation 5 and VRR is official finally. So this has been a long saga at this point for one feature. We're not even including 1440p here, which I've been running a campaign on on Twitter. <laughs> or again, folders or themes, we're just talking about VRR. Earlier this year, I stated that if Sony was going to run a beta program, the timeline breakdown would be an announcement in January that never came, weirdly, a rollout of the beta in February, which did happen, and a release in March or April, and here we are in March with the beta update out. Most recently, I talked about the possibility of the next major update coming out before the release of Ghostwire Tokyo, considering that game supports VSync, so I guess that VRR would release before it with the next major update. So, <laughs> the next major update, as I said, is out today, the one that's been in beta for a month and a half now, and Sony did mention VRR officially. Here's what they said. We're pleased to share that variable refresh rate VRR is planned to release on PlayStation 5 in the coming months on HDMI 2.1 compatible TVs and PC monitors. VRR dynamically syncs the refresh rate of the display to the PlayStation 5 console's graphical output. This enhances visual performance for PlayStation 5 games by minimizing or eliminating visual, visual artifacts such as frame pacing, issues, and screen tearing. Gameplay in many PlayStation 5 titles feels smoother as scenes render 
instantly, graphics look crisper, and input lag is reduced. Previously released PlayStation 5 games can be fully optimized for VRR through a game patch, and future games may include VRR support at launch. So VRR is finally coming to PlayStation 5 in the coming months, and it can be used on games that support it, and also on games that do don't support VRR. You can switch it off and on. It's a system-wide feature. For me, the input lag reduction comment is also interesting here. I wonder if it will play a role for PlayStation Now game streaming, improving input lag in any way. I guess we'll see. Outside of VRR, there are other enhancements that I've already covered when the beta released in February. I'll have that linked if you want a refresher on what's coming. In the end, it's nice to have VRR finally confirmed. I wonder what those Xbox Extreme, I wanted to make that clear, Xbox Extreme fanboys will say on Twitter after this releases. My popcorn is definitely ready. But you guys let me know if you're excited for the VRR update now that it's finally officially confirmed or do you not care? Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, Sony buys new studios. So at this point, most of you guys pretty much know that Sony has purchased or in the process of purchasing Haven Studios. For people who don't know, Haven Studios was created by Jade Raymond, who helped the creation of the Assassin's Creed and Watchdog franchises. She also formed Motive Studios under EA, which is the studio now making the Dead Space remake. Of course, most recently, she was a vice president at Google, leading Google Studios before, of course, that whole thing crumbled then from there she created haven studios and partnered with sony almost a year since then sony decided to acquire the studio haven studios is now a playstation studios studio <laughs> this isn't a bungie situation bungie's under sony interactive entertainment not playstation studios also i've already commented on this on twitter in regards to the discussion of this being an organic buyout or not this is as organic as it gets. This isn't complicated, it's pretty simple. The studio's creation and growth was funded by Sony. Their first project is backed by Sony, and Sony saw the value of the team and went for the buy. This is as organic as it gets. Now, Bungie is a different situation. That wasn't organic, and I don't think anyone debated that. But with Haven, it is. Now, in terms of what they're working on, we knew this already. It's a games as a service, triple A multiplayer title. I know how people feel about games as a service, but I'm curious to see what Jade Raymond and her team are cooking up, especially since Sony saw it and realized the talent at the studio and was impressed enough by the IP they're working on that they bought them a year later before even releasing one game. I personally haven't seen that. I'm curious to see what push them to do that outside of it being a games as a service i see mention of unreal engine 4 experience on one of their job postings but i personally hope they'd use unreal engine 5 at this point if they're using unreal engine regardless let's see what comes out of this team but you guys let me know if you're excited for what haven has coming or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with bring on the features this is obviously in reference to the update that's out today and you know future features like vrr that are coming in the next few months if you're excited for all of that destroy the comment section with bring on the features and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one